This is how you can get 5,000 points from Joseph the Bison in your simulation. First, let's look at the boss modifier. Keep in mind, these are just my preferences. We're going to go with the level 90 boss. Level 90 boss takes about the same time to clear as level 80 because you can turn off all the damage nerfing options off while still having spares to turn other options off. This is due to the boss having a higher multiplier at level 90. For the basic options, turn off increased max HP of enemy, time limit, and decrease attack of full squad. For additional options, remove decreased S energy recovery, decrease ballistic damage of full squad, and deal 18% less damage when HP is above 50%. If you're using electric as your main DPS, also remove the electric resistance. Otherwise, you can turn off one or more patterns from the boss of your choice. In my opinion, the most impactful ones are the two related to his electric combing. For the electric combing drop by Joseph will trap operatives, if it's turned off, the boss will drop a line in front of him. If it's turned on, the boss will drop a circle around you. Because now you're trapped with a follow-up attack, you will have to get out of it. I actually prefer this to be on as the barrier can block your shots. For the phase 2 option, when it's turned off, the boss will still drop the combing regardless, but this time it has an opening. When it's turned on, the circle will be fully enclosed and you will have to break out. Now let's look at the attack patterns. The boss have three different attacks during phase one. First, the boss will drop a barrier then shoot a slow but very large AOE at you. When the option turned on, the barrier will be dropped around you and there are two ways to get out of it. First, you can use a shotgun operative to break through the barrier and sometimes breaking one will not give you enough space to get out. So just to be safe, I always break two barriers before escaping. Be mindful of your shotgun user's ammo though, so you wouldn't be stuck inside due to you run out of ammo. You can run to one side and dodge to get out of it as well before it lands, but sometimes this will not work. For the second attack, the boss will aim at the air and shoot three spreading shells. You can just run toward one direction and it will not hit you. The third attack is a very slow charge shot. If you have enough distance from the boss, you can also just continually running. But to be safe, I sometimes dodge before I come out. For phase 1, the boss will usually face you with his shoulder, but his head hitbox extends pretty far up, I mean slightly higher if you want to hit the weak point. You can stagger the boss two times during this phase. For the first time, you will have a DPS window. When you stagger the boss for the second time, it will become invisible, then switch to phase 2. If you're using Yao, I highly recommend not using her ultimate. It is extremely dangerous, as during her ultimate, she's quite slow, and you might end up getting punched. The second phase has 7 different attacks. Some of them are quite fast. The most threatening ones are minigun and the super punch. For the minigun, the visual cue is very short and it's easy to miss. As soon as you see boss raise his right arm and it's glowing red, start running toward one direction. The other one is the fast mega punch. You will see the boss booster light up as the boss dash at your position very quickly, then punch towards your direction. This attack is very fast and is tracking. You must do a perfect dodge here. To be safe, you can do double dodge roll here if you want. There is also a much slower version of the Mega Punch. The boss will do two diagonal dash before dashing towards you, then throw his punch. The process is pretty slow and the punch doesn't track you like the fast version. So even if you dodge early, this attack still shouldn't hit you. Next, there are also two versions of Superman dives. Both versions will track the position of you at the beginning of the boss's animation. However, sometimes the boss will send out a comb in trapping you before starting the dive. The attack is very slow, just keep running and you will be fine. You can escape the entrapping the same way as you did with the first phase. Finally, there are two slash attack from the boss. For the first version, he will dash towards you, then start throwing punches. He will finish it with a shockwave if you have the option on. This is super non-threatening, just run away and you can do free damage. Sometimes the boss will make two barriers around you, which you can easily run out of, then dash towards you for a slash. Overall, the boss is pretty easy outside of one attack that requires perfect iframe. You will probably have to try many times, it took me personally about 1 hour to actually get the win. But with some patience and trial and error, it shouldn't be that difficult to get 5000 points out of him. This has been Steam by X, good luck with your attempts and I will see you in the next video.